Good morning, friends, and happy Wednesday. Wow, what a night. Um, storms blew through here like crazy. Um, there's still some down power lines out in town. Uh, people are still without power around here. Um, it was just one crazy night, but it was so interesting experiencing it from this window, from this view, because I don't know if you guys can see all of those, um, lights that are, I'm going to see if I can zoom in. You guys can see all these like tall, like lights that are in the air right there all of those lights were bending over so badly that i mean we could actually see them like bending because the wind was blowing so bad and like these windows were bowing because of the wind it was crazy outside but the storms are gone and everything is nice excuse me, nice and sunny outside right now, but the storms did bring cold weather. So it's a, gonna be about 60 degrees today, so I'm glad I packed a long sleeve shirt and a cardigan to go with it. Um, the only thing that I did not pack was a pair of warm shoes. So I actually still have uh, sandals that I'm wearing. Um, Brian has been gone since about eight o'clock this morning. The guy that I went to high school with, <laughs> um, he's staying here as well. Uh, and uh, he and Brian left this morning together because it's just about two miles down the road. It's just on the other side of the airport where he is. It's like right here at the airport, but just like on the other side of the runway area. Um, so he, he and Brian went over there today, this morning, to go to the show because they have the show today and tomorrow. I might make my appearance over there sometime today. Not exactly sure. They're having a huge, huge, like, um, dinner party tonight for everybody. So I will probably go over there um, and do some of their food that they have going on uh, and, and, you know, mingle with some of the folk. Um... But as for now, I'm actually going to head back over to Old Navy, I think, because I saw a couple of things that I wanted to pick up um, and just couldn't really do it with Brian there because he was just like, let's go, let's go. You know, you can't shop with guys. So um, I might go over there and pick up some stuff, and then I think I'm going to head over to the Space and Rocket Center today because that was kind of kind of my plan while I was here is to do the Space and Rocket Center and just kind of walk around there for a little while. So... Let's go do some stuff today in Huntsville. Um, I'm alone all day today because Brian's at the show. So it's just going to be us, me and you guys. So let's go do something. Let's go find something to, to do in Huntsville. Um, and let's go, let's go figure it out. Bye. So one of the things I wanted to do while I was here is check out this um, little store that they have here at the airport. Because we're still here at the airport. But they have little neck things. Two for 20. Those are cute. And of course, they have Alabama attire. Cute, you can get two for 30. Cute, like I love these ones. Mm. And of course they have Auburn. Auburn stuff. Oh no, I am just looking. Well, that was really awkward. It's like she didn't want me to film, but she didn't say not to film. But sometimes people get really worried about the whole filming thing, so I just turned it off. I did like the Alabama shirts, though. But they do have everything in there. Books, drinks, snacks, anything that you need. And look, there's where you check in. And this is where we go out. So funny. And it's gonna be cold. So I'm going to prepare myself. Uh, yes, burr. Woo! It is super cold outside. Uh, and I'm sorry I'm complaining about how cold it is. Um, okay, and I'm not driving my vehicle, so I don't know where the temperature thing is at. Oh, 48 degrees. Oh my god. And it's supposed to get to 60. So it is supposed to get a lot warmer. So hopefully it'll happen sooner than later. But anyway, so it is cold outside. But I'm so glad that I brought my sweater and long sleeves. Um, and I think that most of the Space and Rocket Center is indoors. So um, yeah, 
let's go uh, let's go space and rocketing. What do you say? I'm excited. Woohoo! so much fun. I am so glad that I went and did the little tour of um, the Space and Rocket Center here in Alabama. It took about two hours to go through it, um, which will probably take a lot longer if you have kids or if you want to really read everything. Um, but I just kind of walked through it, took my time, and just kind of, you know, shared a few things that I really found interesting, which was a lot of the stuff. I, I found a lot of the stuff interesting. I really enjoyed it. I like the IMAX too, but like I said, I was kind of getting a little bit dizzy inside of there. But now it is time to find some lunch. So that is what I am on a mission to do. I'm not exactly sure what I want. Um, Brian's truck is so big. I hate to um, pull this in and out of places, but we'll go find something. We'll go find something to munch on. So uh, yeah, let's go have some lunch. So I decided to come to Tzatziki's for lunch today. This is my favorite place that I used to eat at all the time when I lived here. Um, and I always got the um, little crunchy pita chips with the tzatziki dip and I actually have my lunch coming which is a roll up. Yep, <laughs> it's okay, thanks. <laughs> so for lunch I got my little chicken roll ups and the cucumber and tomato salad. I can skip those because I have these chips but this is what I usually get when I come. It is so freaking good and it's my favorite, favorite thing to get. Woo, so that lunch was delicious. I love Tzatziki's. That is like my favorite place to go next to Rosie's. Next to, Ro well, it's actually, it is next to Rosie's. Um, but it's actually, my two favorite places to eat and while I'm in Huntsville is, is Rosie's Cantina and Tzatziki's. That is so good. But for those of you who are new to my channel and didn't know this, I used to live here in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, Brian and I moved here in 2008 and we lived here until um, uh, mid September, or excuse me, mid um, 2011, we moved to um, to Georgia in 2011. So we lived here for about three and a half hours, but, or excuse me, th three and a half years. But um, I actually worked up here at this hospital. This is Huntsville Hospital that I'm getting ready to drive by right now. I used to work at Huntsville Hospital. Um, I worked in their lab as a phlebotomist. And I remember taking this little tram across back and forth because it was doctors, buildings, and offices down there that I had to go draw blood at. Um, there's like a patient service center here that I drew blood at over here. And then there's one across the street from here as well. So um, I used to um, I used to work at Huntsville Hospital until I got hired on at um, Path Group. And then I started working at Path Group, um, which I was with them for uh, the majority of the time that I lived here, the three years that I lived here. Um, I didn't work at Huntsville Hospital for very long because I got hired on with Path Group. And Path Group um, had better pay and it was at a doctor's office. Um, and I um, stayed at that doctor's office for three years while I was here and I absolutely loved it. Um, and um, I still, I'm friends with some of them on Facebook um, that I used to work with. I absolutely loved it. And then one day, I was going to show you, show you guys this too. One day, as I was driving through on this same street right here, I was driving home from Huntsville Hospital um, after work, and I was driving, and I came across a little person, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what if that little person was from Little People Big World. And sure enough, it was, it was the mom from Little People Big World. And so I slammed on my brakes, went down the, around the corner and um, she was actually walking. There is um, the art museum is like right here. I'll show you. This is like the art museum right here. And she was actually walking right here and this is where I saw her. And when I saw her, I went down here, quickly turned around and by the time I got back, she was already like down the road here. Well, anyway, I, um, I, I drove down the road and stopped her and said, aren't you the lady from Little People Big World? And she's like, yes. And I'm like, oh my God, what are you doing in Huntsville, Alabama? Because, um, you know, they live up in Oregon. And she's like, my son is over here at space camp. And I said, oh, wow, that is so cool. And she had her hands full. 
she had her hands full of bags like she had been shopping or whatever here in town and I'm like well do you need a ride anywhere and she's probably going I am not getting in the car with this crazy lady from Alabama well um, anyway she goes no 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 I'm just parked right around the corner here and I'm like okay I'm like I'll be glad to take you you know wherever you need to go and of course she's probably like don't get in car with strangers this is a crazy lady but anyway but that was a uh, that's my little like celebrity story here in Huntsville Alabama I think I would like to, to share that so it's funny I was actually watching that show yesterday um, because it was quite comical that it was on and it just kind of reminded me of the fact that I um, saw her and I'm um, here in, in Huntsville so it was kind of funny I'm actually going to try to go. I don't know if I'm supposed to here or not, but I don't know. This is kind of confusing. And Brian, driving Brian's big truck around here is just um, crazy scary. Okay, the light is green. I don't know what it means in here neck of the woods, but it means go here. Um, but anyway, yeah. So cool. That's my that's my little interesting story, and I wanted to share that with you guys. And now I've got to continue to drive in this little narrow area with a big, huge truck. Hey guys, so I am back over here at Bridge Street, Old Navy, Ulta. Um, I'm actually going to Old Navy really quick just to walk around again, kind of do the thing I didn't get to do yesterday when I was with Brian. Um, and then I'm going to go into Barnes & Noble and see if I can't find a crossword puzzle book. I really like crossword puzzles. And then I'm going to go back to my room for a little while um, and relax and then probably go over to see Brian and see what... Uh, what he's up to over there at the show. So let's go into Old Navy. So I actually got a few things at Old Navy. So I'll probably go back to my room and do like a haul for you guys. Now I'm gonna go into Barnes and Noble, which is right here. Hi guys, welcome back. So I am back in my hotel room. Uh, if you guys are just now following me, I am in Huntsville, Alabama for the week. We have been here since Monday morning. Brian has a business show that he is doing here today and tomorrow. We have been here since Monday because he had to get all set up and because we were in Tennessee for Easter, spending that time with my mom and dad and my family. But um, today was like my first day that I was able to kind of go out and do things on my own. So this morning I ventured out and I went to the Space and Rocket Center and I will go ahead and post a link to that video right up here if you guys missed it. I had a really good time at the Space and Rocket Center. Then I went and had some lunch at my favorite restaurant and then I went to Old Navy and to Barnes and Noble. So I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys a few of the things that I picked up at um, both places, Old Navy and um, Barnes and Noble. Um, I also want to let you guys know I'm in my hotel room. That is where I am at, um, at the Huntsville Airport, Huntsville, Alabama Airport, um, which is so funny. Did not know that there was a hotel above the airport. And I'm looking out the window and it's the runway. You can see airplanes out there. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you guys a few of the things that I picked up. I wanted to run into um, Barnes and Noble because I wanted just to kind of get a little, um, a book. And I wanted to get a crossword puzzle book because I really like doing crossword puzzles. So I picked up this brain game uh, puzzle book and it's just got the, it's the Merriam-Webster word search and it just kind of got a bunch of like word searches on it. Here's all the words you can look up and then you just circle them in here. I love puzzle books like this or word searches. It just like, it just helps stimulate my brain a little bit more because, you know, we all need stimulation in our brain. And then I picked up the um, Leah Remini book. This was um, $6.98. Um, my Little Brain Games was also $6.98. Um, but I really like her series of her Scientology story. And, um, you know, I just kind of thought if I had some quiet time, I could sit down and read. I really love reading um, books like this. This is like one of my favorite things to read. Um, and I really, really like her. So I'm excited to read that book. And then I got this book for my dad for um, Father's Day coming up. Uh, which, Father's Day is not until June, but still. 
I'm ahead of the game. Um, anyway, it's called Some Very Interesting Cats Perhaps You Weren't Aware Of. Um, and this is funny because my dad has a cat and he absolutely adores his little kitty cat. And so like this big thing is now we everybody gets him a book about cats. So I got him this book and that book was $5.98. So I'll have that for him for Father's Day, which he will really enjoy. And then um, I went to Old Navy and picked up a few things. Um, depending on when this is posted, you guys, oh, well, you guys know, we are headed to Disney World on April 13th, 14th, and 15th. We're just going to be there for a quick weekend. And then at the end of May, I'm going to be there for an entire week all by myself on a solo trip. And I am so excited. I cannot wait for that trip um but i picked up some clothes because i knew it's going to be hot and i want to be comfortable um so i picked up some new shirts that i just haven't seen at our old navy so um here's some cute shorts these are super super cute um these are navy blue shorts navy blue but look at the bottom of them they kind of got like this little cute little ripple on the bottom how cute are those and i thought those would look really cute with like a a white tanky or just a regular like shirt of some sort like this one it'd be really cute but i know the lighting is really bad in here i am so sorry but i can't help that um it's because i it's in a hotel room so sorry um but i thought this shirt would look really cute with it too so it's possibly it's pop it's quite possible that this is the one I'll wear with it. It's just a really cute, like, really um, uh, white and thin with a little bit of, like, silver um, sparkle in it. I don't know. It's really cute. I like the ruffled sleeve. Um, I just love it. It's really, really cute. I thought it might be, look really cute with those shorts. So I'll wear that. And then if it's, like, even cooler, which I know it's not going to be cooler in um, Florida or not, but like on a cool day so say like today it's kind of a cool day here in Huntsville I could wear that with like a, a white cardigan and it would look so cute all right then I picked up these shorts um because I just thought they were really cute and they just look comfortable they're just some uh like a, almost like a a jean not jean material but like a jean color denim jean color um with white stripes very thin absolutely love them thought they would look really cute with like a white shirt um those are going to be really comfortable to wear um, then I picked up this cute little navy blue shirt. Um, I love shirts like this. They're so cute with the little like puffy sleeve and then it's kind of got like a crisscross in the front for a tie. I like that. Navy blue. And then um, I picked up this like coral color tanky. Love the color. I can find it coral color tanky so I thought this would be really cute to wear um to the parks because it's sleeveless I just wear like another little tanky underneath it and it just it's really big and flowy um and comfortable and that's the big key word is comfort I picked up a light blue color one as well love it um I picked up this cute little shirt oh my god I love these little shirts with the what do you call this up here at the top with like the stretchy uh material but anyway it's like a, a sleeveless shirt really really cute I could wear this with uh, like a pair of white shorts I could wear black shorts uh red I mean, just really cute it's just that, that light blue jean color material love it I could actually wear it too if it's cooler outside with a little um tanky love that or excuse me with a little cardigan I like it I like it a lot and then um I picked up this this one which is the same as that same other shirt um, except this one has like the blue and white stripes with little spaghetti straps up here at the top cute again very very cute to wear with um even like a yellow cardigan navy blue cardigan um pink cardigan white cardigan super cute love it and then i picked up a black one because you can never go bad buying a black tanky so i got a black one again sleeveless really fun and flowy love those i love wearing those with like white shorts so perfect and then um let's see oh this is just a long sleeve um black shirt and it kind of it goes like way past my butt which i really like but it is long sleeves and i thought well i could wear it like tonight while i'm here because it's chilly outside i could wear this um in the winter time i could wear this with a pair of uh black um like leggings or whatever because it's it's like that long so it's just perfect and i love it so got that one and i know you guys can't see it very well because 
it's in this hotel room and I'm so sorry. Um, we're almost done. And then I picked up these two sweaters because I love just like throwing on a comfy cardigan. And they had like these really pretty cardigans. This one is just like a gray color and it's kind of got like a, a wide sleeve at the end, but I love it. I just thought it would look so, you know, comfortable um, in the winter time, fall, winter time, spring, today, because it's chilly outside. Um, and then I picked up an ivory one um, with the same uh, pattern, uh, whatever, and same uh, same materials. It's just a nice little cardigan, um, but I picked up the ivory one. So I'm, I love, I love them. And then I earned um, a couple of bucks for my expenditures. I earned a thirty dollar um, bucks reward. So I'll be saving this and going back, hopefully to ours, maybe one day next week, and seeing if I can't find anything else. Because I really do like using these um, super cash. I actually, Brian and I went into Old Navy yesterday, and I picked up um, a shirt. And a dress yesterday uh, just in case I decided to wear like a dress tonight to his like formal dinner thing um, and I got I earned more bucks that way too so now I think I'm up to almost like 75 of these buckaroos so I'll be using these at Old Navy one day next week uh, right probably right before our trip to Disney that way I can maybe stack up on some more um, little outfits, shirts and stuff, whatnot. But anyway, so that's it for my Old Navy haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on Angie in Wonderland. Bye. Hi guys. So I am back from my little outing today. I really, really enjoyed being out and um, going to the Space and Rocket Center and eating at my favorite restaurant. I stopped off at Old Navy. I just did a quick haul, showed you guys what I picked up. Um, Brian is still obviously at the show today. I'm actually meeting my mom tomorrow. She's coming in at 11 o'clock tomorrow, possibly with my aunt, if not, it'll just be my mother. Um, and we're just going to kind of hang out, maybe have some lunch or whatever. We really can't do a lot because, um, tomorrow Brian's day is kind of unpredictable. Not exactly sure when he's going to get out of the show. Not sure if he's going to have to stay there all day for the show or if he's going to be able to leave early from the show. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, I am back and um, I'm probably just going to spend the rest of the afternoon here in my room. I'm going to try to get some stuff together um, and some things that I can bring down to the truck today since we have to get out of the hotel tomorrow morning. Um, probably by 11 o'clock we have to be out of here and then I'm meeting my mom at 11. So I want to try to have everything um, picked up and together before we have to leave and I don't want to have to make 100 trips to the truck. So I'm going to try to get some stuff together now and then I can bring that down when I go over to uh, where Brian is at later on. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff cleaned up around here, and then I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Oh, um, I, you know, I'm really enjoying watching these planes <laughs> go in and out. So, like, there's a plane right there. So, you guys can see, like, the airplane. Oh, and then there's one taking off right over there. I don't know if you guys can see them or not, but there's a plane taking off. That one might be just, like, a personal uh, plane or military plane or something, but, yeah, there's plane taken off but this one's going to be taking off really soon because they are going to be um either they just loaded it i think because they're just doing some maintenance underneath it right now like filling it up with fuel but yeah how cool is that this is what our view has been for the past week it's been kind of interesting so cool yeah i think that's what they're doing they're filling the, the plane up with fuel so that means people are already in there or they're getting ready to be in there I don't know, but nonetheless, very cool. Alrighty, hey guys. So, um, I just kind of been relaxing. It's about four o'clock. I'm gonna head over and meet Brian about five o'clock because that's when the, I think they're having like a shrimp boil. <laughs> I think that's what they called it. So a crawfish boil or something like that. But anyway, that's what they're gonna be doing. Um, but anyway, I just kind of been sitting here. I uploaded some footage onto my computer. There's an airplane coming in. It just landed. So he's probably gonna make his way over here on this side, but he's down there on the runway. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I'm finding this to be quite amusing. Um, but anyway, I did straighten up the room here a little bit. So I thought I'd go ahead and take you guys around and show you guys kind of what I did. 
Okay, so here we are at the window, um, and the door is way over there. So this is kind of what the room looks like from this angle. Little sitting area, little footstool or whatever. Um, I just kind of like threw the bed together. It doesn't look great at all, but I just kind of threw it up there. I'm um, just kind of made up the bed, my blanket. This is like where I've been putting on my makeup and stuff and doing my hair. So I have like my makeup mirror here, my comb, and my brush, hair dryer, and curling iron my little makeup bag is back here where i keep all my makeup my rag and everything um again where brian makes coffee and everything so this is where i do all of that stuff and then um in these drawers these are like little um pull outs and i kind of kept our um our bagels our peanut butter and our english muffins inside of this and all the other ones are completely empty and then um, obviously over here is where we kind of kept all of our um, clothing and stuff together, suitcases, bags, dirty bag over there, laundry, and then um, all of my bags, his bags, shoes, and all that good stuff. This is the stuff I'm going to take out to my car here very shortly or to the truck. Brian's shoes, my computer bag, and everything. And then, of course, this is his little area. I'm actually charging a battery. That was his glass of wine from last night. But this is kind of what the room and the bed look like. And then over here, I have... Um, a bag, just kind of some garbage that we're, you know, just gathering. Um, my little bleh, sweaters hanging there. And then over here, this is the bathroom area. I have like a little hand towel here. This is where we keep, obviously, all of our toiletries. This is Brian's toiletry bag that he's got everything in here. Um, and this is pretty much how I do it in every hotel room. Um, I have my bag sitting over here. Um, but as long as we have enough room, this is how I do it. Um, and then, of course, all of, any aspirins or stuff that we need. Um, yesterday, I had them call in um, a prescription for me because of my UTI. Um, this is where I've been keeping my jammies and my towels that I've been using and then of course that will not fit in the shower so I'm just kind of leaving it there and then with my jammies um, hanging right there and then um, I put the tissues right here and then I always carry poopery with me um, you know and then um, this is the shower area um, where we keep all of our shampoos all that good stuff but this is theirs this stuff is there and um, I just added all my stuff in there. So this is kind of what we use for our hair, body, etc., etc., etc. And this one is like leaking. So and it's making a mess down here in the tub. But it is leaking. But nonetheless. And then Brian's towel just hangs on the back of the door. And then of course this is the one we stand on. And I just keep throwing it across the tub. Um, so because until we need it. Anyway, again, this is kind of what it looks like from this angle. So, um, really nice hotel. Um, it, and it's not, you can't hear the planes or whatever. And they stop um, flights at like 9 o'clock. So they don't take off. But there is one that lands around, they said, 1130 or whatever. So, um, where did that plane go? I wonder if he's still like taxiing to the runway. That's interesting. That's so funny. But anyway, <laughs> again, I'm still like so amused by this place. But anyway, um, so it's almost time for me to head over there in a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of sit here and relax a little bit and then make my way over there to see Brian. So I'll take you guys along. I'm not exactly sure what I can and can't film over there, but um, I will do my best to share what I can. So, yay. So Brian Brian is back. He's going to be coming out the door in just a minute. There he is. <laughs> so we're going to go downstairs for happy hour so we can get happy. <laughs> um, they have free beer. Woohoo. And some barbecue. So I'm going to try the barbecue. Not a beer drinker. So I'll pass on that. But it should be fun. Oh, I remember earlier when I was on the phone with you and I said, so this is their free little buffet for tonight. They've got chicken rolls and these little pork sliders. This is like a pancake with barbecue pork and some slaw on the top of it. It actually doesn't look too bad. And Brian actually just went up to get his as well. And then I'm having a half and half tea and Brian's having a monkey knot beer. 